This is a $28 million Bel Air mega mansion with two infinity edge pools, a massive water feature, private movie theater, open air atrium, and so many other things. And today, we're gonna to tour this property in its entirety. But before we do, make sure to subscribe because we're touring more homes just like this every week on the channel. Also, huge thank you to all of the listing agents involved with this property. You can find their info below. And now let's get started. We are here today in bright and sunny Bel Air, Los Angeles, about to tour this newly constructed contemporary property here. Looking up at the exterior, we've got the use of a sand tone stonework complemented with the smooth stucco finish. Glass panels are displayed all across the exterior. You can see the property is nicely gated and this driveway actually slopes downward, taking you into one of the two garages that we have for the property. The next garage, you may be wondering, is actually located down this completely floating bridge. And that garage is also a part of your basement level where we have your second pool, movie theater, and a ton of living spaces. Over here, let's continue down. The exterior is amazing. You've got the water features and the glass panel door. Now let's go inside. We have just made it here into the entry of this remarkable property. Through that glass paneled pivot door, we're led into a two-story entry with the chandelier positioned above. Floating staircase takes you up to the top level. It's nicely glass paneled. And they also have brought that stonework that we saw outside here to the interior. So it adds some additional character, makes the property feel warm and earthy. I'm a huge fan of that. And also, right when you walk in, you were greeted with one of the coolest central atriums we have ever seen before. You've got the pocket sliding doors, which takes you into this Zen space. You've got the river rock details, olive tree on my left with that similar stonework that we saw at the interior of the house. You've also got this massive waterfall here. This has gotta be easily 12 to 15 feet tall. And this is not the only water wall that we will be seeing in the property. We actually have one directly out there on my left, and that takes you into one of the two pools in the property. Also, we have a very open concept layout. In front of me, we've got access into the formal dining room, kitchen, living space, bar, and the first level of your backyard. Below that, we've got a second pool, but we'll wait, we'll show you that a bit later. Let's continue down this hallway here and we are led into the first guest bedroom of the property. You've got the floor to ceiling glass sliders which bring a lot of natural light in. And you've also got your egress access in case of any emergency that takes you back up to the side yard of the property. We've got a walk-in closet on my left with all of your necessary built-ins. And right over here, we've got your ensuite bathroom complete with the gorgeous chandelier on the right-hand side of the vanity. And you got your glass enclosed walk-in shower section. And once you exit this bedroom, you've got this stair access, which takes you up to the garage and to an empty room, which I'm assuming could be used as a mud room later on in the future. You can see we are back into the grand entry. Follow me down through here. We've got a beautiful coat closet on my right with the built-ins and the LED strip lighting. On my left, we've got a powder room complete with the floating vanity, wall sconces, and a mirror. And down the hall over here, this is your guest suite. This room is impressive. Contemporary staging is displayed all throughout. You've got the mounted flat screen TV, walk-in closet with your built-ins, and your ensuite bathroom has a floating vanity with a glass enclosed walk-in shower with a floating bench. And one more thing I wanted to mention here, you can open up this section. 
And this has got to be one of the most unique architectural views we have ever seen. This floating driveway that I mentioned to you earlier is actually built into the mountain with these concrete caissons. And you can see they line the entire private driveway. And every time you drive down this driveway here, you're getting views of the mountains and the city in the distance beautiful foliage all throughout. And this extended pathway is also nicely glass railed. And it takes you all the way down to your first backyard with pool number one. We still have pool number two and backyard number two to see later. Before we see that though, follow me down through this section here. And this takes us into the massive great room. You've got two dining sections on either side of me, access into your kitchen, living rooms, bar area, and access directly out to the backyard. First things first, let's talk about your formal dining room section. It's got seating for up to 10 of your guests here, luxurious furniture with the light fixture positioned right above. And from here, you're listening to your water feature, you're looking out at your tree, so serene, so peaceful. You're feeling the fresh air from that open atrium. I've never seen a view quite like this. This is one of a kind. Also, what's really cool is that you actually have this kind of open concept divider detail, which separates your living room from your dining space. In the living room, you've got more contemporary staged seating all throughout the area. Another gold abstract light fixture is mounted above this room right here. Also, before we see that bar, I wanna talk about this detail briefly. You've got this floor to ceiling stone assembly with some built-in shelving, and I really like this dual-sided glass enclosed fireplace that they have built in right here. So what's really cool is that you can actually enjoy the warmth from that fireplace in this living room on my left or the one on my right, which we will be seeing just after this. I actually wanna take you down this space briefly. We gotta talk about the bar area. You've got seating for up to three of your guests. And you can see that the stonework in this entire bar section actually matches the stone that we just saw there on that fireplace. I love the continuity. You've got the mirrored backsplash here with the floating glass shelving going up to the ceiling. Great space to have your artwork displayed or your fine china. And plus you've got all of your custom cabinetry throughout. It's all nicely pushed to open, very seamless. There's no handles present, very minimalist design. Right here, you've got your paneled refrigeration and behind that built-in ice maker. Really cool how you have this all in your bar section. You've got your built-in sink with more mirrored backsplash once again. And if we head back down, I wanna show you that other seating area, which I mentioned previously. Hanging light fixtures positioned above with the contemporary staging. Also, you get more of these pocket sliding doors, which lead you directly out to the backyard. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Take a look at that pool section. It overlooks the entire city, and it's also one of the largest water features we've ever seen before. I'm super excited to check it out, and we'll see it in a bit. Also, more views of that private bridge driveway. Now, let's head back inside. You can see that we've got the other side of that dual-sided fireplace I previously mentioned. More built-in bookshelving here with the mounted flat screen TV, of course. And you can see over here on my right, we've got access into a dining room, which has seating for up to eight of your guests. More picturesque views of Bel Air are just shown all throughout this entire section. And like I said, it's a very open concept floor plan. The space leads directly to your well-appointed kitchen. You've got the stone countertops with the waterfall edge, and you've also got the exact same stone here on the backsplash, built-in stainless steel sink, plus you've got all of your nicely integrated cabinetry throughout. There's no handles present. It's all very minimalist in the space. You've also got this stone detail, which extends up to the ceiling here. And this actually conceals your stainless steel hood. Below that, your Wolf designed five burner range is nicely integrated into the cabinetry. And we gotta talk about this right here. This is your panel dishwasher designed by Mila. If we continue back down, we've got your Wolf appliance suite. You've got your microwave here at the top, oven below, plus you've got your warming tray, very essential to have. And we gotta talk about this right here. You've got your fridge and freezer, all once again, nicely paneled, designed by Sub-Zero. You've got the natural wooden tone going all the way up to the ceiling here. Nice contemporary interior. We see them in most of the homes that we tour. And in between this, you've got your Sub-Zero 
wine refrigeration with the pullout racks, always essential to have, of course. And I love, again, how all of this cabinetry extends up to the ceiling here, shown not only on this side, but throughout the rest of the kitchen here. If you thought that was enough kitchen, you're wrong. Come down through this section, we've got an entire new kitchen here. This is the butler's kitchen, and you can see it's complete with all of your necessary appliances as well. Once again, you've got access out to that elongated balcony, which further takes you to the backyard. But before we see that backyard, I wanna actually take you over here briefly. This is another powder room for this level. I love the wallpaper choice that they have in this room. You've got the floating vanity with the dark stone countertop. Vessel bowl sink is completely made with this gold color. You've got the gold faucet, which is actually mounted into the countertop and Look how you turn it on. You actually just pull this little switch right here. Pretty, pretty cool design. I love the mirror above with the wall sconces to both sides of the section. Very regal and executive looking space. Now directly to the left of this powder room, we've got access into a private office. You can see light fixture is positioned in the center of this room. And this office is so large, it not only has a desk, a bookshelf, but it also has this massive seating area. And what's really cool is that you also have this set of sliding glass doors, which takes you directly out to the backyard. Look at that beautiful two-story pool. We're gonna see that space in a little bit, so you should definitely stick around. If you're getting a little bored, tired of work, go out there and jump in the pool. Pretty nice. Let's continue down. You've got the flat screen TV. Bookshelf goes from floor to ceiling, like I mentioned, but there's something that I did not mention. This is a secret room. How crazy is this? The bookshelf reveals this hidden staircase and this takes you exclusively down to the bottom level where we've got the entertainment floor and direct access to your lower level pool. And of course, we're gonna see this section more in detail later on in the tour, but how cool do you think this is, guys? Hidden bookshelf takes you into a secret staircase. I've never seen anything quite like that. That is pretty crazy. Now that concludes our tour for the main floor. So now we gotta head out and check out the first level of the backyard. We've just made it out here to the impressive backyard. And what I love most about this backyard is the fact that this is only the first level of the backyard. We still have a lower backyard, which we will be seeing later. And that's accessible through the bottom floor. You've got several seating sections right when you walk out. Pocketing doors from the living room take you directly out to the space. You've got views of your private driveway and your garden, which is down below, which again, we'll see a little bit later. Massive Baja shelf. This quite possibly could be one of the largest Baja shelves we've ever seen before. You've got space for at least 10 to 12 pool chairs, I would say. And over here, you can see that you've got these three massive steps, which lead you into this impressive infinity edge pool. You can swim out to that and just look out at Los Angeles. You've got the ocean all the way in the distance, plus all of the Bel Air mountains. Look at our views right here. Our backdrop is just the greenery, the ocean, the city. I've never seen anything quite like this. Some of the best views in all of Los Angeles. You've also got your nicely integrated jacuzzi, which can sit up to 10 people, I would say. And this whole section is actually zero edge. And if you thought this was a crazy pool, just wait, because we have another pool down below. Can you believe that? A two-story pool, never seen anything like it. Also, what I really love about this pool section is the fact that it doubles as a water feature and this actually goes all the way down to your lower level. So this water feature here is easily over 10 feet tall, nicely tiled all throughout. We've never seen anything quite like that. Now up above, you've got this shaded awning, outdoor kitchen, you've got the bar which can seat up to five of your guests, plus you've got more outdoor dining areas. You've got a built-in fire pit in front of me. And let's talk about the inner workings of the outdoor kitchen. You've got your stainless steel Lynx barbecue with the outdoor hood, 
right above. We don't see that too often. You've got the vertical wooden panel details nicely located on this back side of the wall, mounted flat screen TV. You're cooking up some burgers. You're overlooking Los Angeles and all of the mountains here in the distance. You've got the built-in sink. Refrigeration is shown all throughout the space and you've got your ice maker. In case you wanna make some drinks back here, you can easily do it. Pretty cool. More stainless steel cabinetry is displayed throughout. And one more thing I wanna mention, you've got the space heaters above here mounted on that shaded awning and you've got yourself a pool bathroom. Now let's continue down. We've got more views of the contemporary architecture, the stonework, the upper level. That's pretty much it for this first backyard. So now let's head down below to that entertainment floor and then check out the second backyard. We have just made it down to the lower entertainment level. Right when you come down that illuminated staircase, you actually have access into your second garage. And this can have a couple cars, I'd say two to three, but the most important feature about this garage is the fact that it's only accessible through that floating bridge, which we saw earlier. How crazy does this look? We've never seen a floating bridge leading down to a property before. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. This is one of the coolest features I think I have ever seen. And every time you drive down your floating bridge, you're getting views of the Bel Air Mountains, city in the distance. Now let's head back inside to this lower level. On my right, you've got access into the laundry room, which has space for four appliances. Further down the hallway, a guest bedroom with outdoor access, and it also has an ensuite bathroom. And what's really cool is that you can actually section off this entire area with this pocket sliding door. So you can kind of make that your very own guest house if you want. Now in front of me, we've got the private bar, lower level backyard with the crazy pool and water feature and a living space. But before we see those areas, follow me here to my left hand side. This is the executive movie theater. You may notice my mic is a little bit better than it was out there. That's because this room is completely soundproof. You've got the plush walls and the thick carpeting in the space. You've got triple tiered seating in the section. You can probably sit like 10 to 15 guests in the area. Great spot to have movie nights, of course. Bring all your friends, bring all your family. You've got the massive screen on the far side of the wall, and you've got these cool lights, which actually illuminate each little wooden step right here. I don't see details like that too much in a lot of movie theaters, but this one has it all. You've also got a little popcorn machine on the far side too. This space is truly incredible. Now follow me back outside the space, down these steps, we've got the massive great room, contemporary staging on my right with the pool table here on my left. Art installations are shown all throughout the space as well. Right here, you've got your sliding glass doors and these exclusively take you out to a private balcony, which further leads back to that main pool with the views of the water feature and of course, We'll see that briefly. Take a look at the views you get from this great room. All of the Bel Air mountains in the distance, your private garden, and your floating car bridge. Pretty remarkable. Over here, like I said, you've got some seating sections. Linear glass enclosed fireplace is shown on my left, wrapped with this floor to ceiling stone detail. You've got the mounted flat screen TV right above here. Picture window views looking out once again to Bel Air. And if we take a look here on my right hand side, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the backyard. Take a look at the views that we have, the seating sections and this insane water feature. Probably the largest water feature we've ever seen. It's over 10 feet tall. And look at the views that we have of Bel Air Los Angeles. Never seen anything quite like it. Now, before we mention the rest of this backyard in detail, I wanna take you back inside. This is your private bar. It's got seating for up to four of your guests at this dark stone countertop. Book matched here in the center. You've also got your built-in sink section here. Refrigeration is located throughout the space as well. And over here, you've got your built-in ice maker. We always like to see these inside houses. And this is the third ice maker we've seen at the property so far. Maybe we'll see another one, who knows? 
light fixture above. You've got all of the cabinetry built in on my left-hand side in that nice espresso wood tone. And when you're sitting at this bar area, look at this, you've got a little wine tasting section and your backdrop is actually your temperature controlled glass enclosed wine cellar, which can fit a few hundred, if not a thousand or so bottles of wine. It looks amazing. Like I said, it's completely temperature controlled. Also on my right, you've got access into a powder room. And if we head up this set of stairs, like I mentioned, that wine cellar looks amazing. And through this door, we are led into your private gym slash yoga area. We've got the treadmill and a couple stationary bicycles in the room. All of your walls are nicely mirrored here at the property as well. So you're getting that authentic gym experience, mounted flat screen TV above with the several yoga mats, also, you've got a really cool wellness center with a steam shower and a sauna. But before we see that space, take a look at this view right here. I could not imagine a better place to do yoga at or to work out at. I mean, just take a look at the views we have right here. There's really nothing else in the world quite like it. Now, before we see the rest of that backyard, follow me down over here. This is your wellness center. We've got a lot of things to see here, sauna, steam shower. But let's talk about this first. So this is your glass enclosed sauna area, completely clad with all of the wood materials. I love the contemporary look. You've got some ambient lighting here on the back. Did I mention it's glass enclosed? Very cool. And located next to that, we've got your steam shower, complete with the beautiful marble details on the floor, on the walls, going all the way up to the ceiling. Space is truly incredible. Do a workout, overlook Bel Air, Los Angeles, then come in here, get your steam shower, maybe get a sauna session in, and then you come right here, and then you've got your traditional shower. It's also nicely glass enclosed, and you've also got this floating vanity section right here. Now, over here on my right, you may recognize this space. This is actually that secret staircase that we saw earlier, and this takes you directly back up to that private office, which we did see earlier. It's really cool how you have multiple ways to get down to this floor. I'm a huge fan of that. Now let's continue down. There's one more thing to show you and that's just gonna be on my right hand side. You've got this slider door which takes you into a private room. Maybe this is your meditation area. You've got a little seating section in there and that wraps up our tour of the lower level. So now we've got to head right through these sliding glass doors. We have just made it to the backyard and we're looking here at your second infinity edge pool. It sounds pretty crazy to say that. The fact that just up this water feature, you've got a completely separate pool. Never seen anything quite like that. I'm a huge fan. Of course, you're getting direct views to the city of Los Angeles, the Bel Air Mountains and all of the trees, the foliage here in the distance. And let's talk about the pool for a second. It's quite massive. You can definitely have 20, 30 guests out here. Plus, you still got more people up above. So you can entertain hundreds of guests at this property. Now over here, we've got your private pool bathroom complete with this floating vanity. And you've also got this outdoor shower, which is located just right next to your sink. Pretty cool with the built-in body spray. I don't think we've seen a body spray on an outdoor shower before, but that is pretty cool. Also behind me, you've got the water closet. And if we continue down, this is without a doubt my most favorite feature of the property. This is your floating pathway, which overlooks Bel Air, Los Angeles. It overlooks the mountains. It's right next to your water feature and it takes you back to that seating section, which we saw earlier. You've got the wooden deck right here with the fire pit seating section again. And just look at these views, guys. I've never seen anything quite this magnificent with the water feature. I am truly at a loss for words. And that concludes our tour for this lower level. So now we're gonna head upstairs and finish the tour. Coming up your floating staircase, we have just made it up to the top level of the property. And this level contains all of the guest bedrooms and the primary bedroom suite. 
follow me down this unique hallway. We've got the floor to ceiling glass overlooking your central atrium. And if we continue down, this is the primary bedroom suite. You've got the bed set up here in between two built-in nightstands, art installation right above the bed. And you wake up and you see this view every single day. The Bel Air foliage, the mountains, the city there in the distance. And if you look down below me, this is really crazy too. So this architectural view you get of your two pools, one pool on the floor below us, and then two floors below us. We've never seen an architectural view quite like this one, complemented with the mountains. This is impressive. Now you can also see you've got direct access into your primary bathroom right here, which we'll see briefly, but before we do, I wanna talk about your exterior fire pit. You've got some seating sections staged around the area. Once again, you can be relaxing here, overlooking the views, and then take a look right over here. You've got even more views of the Bel Air foliage, all of the mountains, and your floating bridge, which takes you down to your lower level garage. And this balcony is very spacious. It wraps around to a couple more guest bedrooms that we will be seeing in a bit. Before we do, follow me back inside of here. I wanted to mention your living space, nicely integrated into this room. You've got the built-in sink with the custom cabinetry below and you've got some built-in wine refrigeration right over here too. So if you're thirsty for a bottle of wine, you don't wanna go all the way downstairs, just take it from here. You've got the dark stone detail which goes up to the ceiling and it also wraps around this mounted flat screen TV. You've got the glass enclosed linear fireplace displayed right below this section. What an amazing primary suite. We've still got more to see though, so follow me down here. This is primary closet number one out of two. You've got the LED strip lighting illuminating the section, tons of built-in cabinets and storage spaces, of course. You've got the downward sloped shelving, perfect for your shoes. And all of these doors are indeed soft closing. You can put all your watches, all your jewelry here, nicely organized, close that up. It's amazing. And you get views of Bel Air here in the distance. Also in front of me, more views of that open atrium that we saw earlier. And if we continue back down straight ahead, this is closet number two. It's noticeably larger than the last closet that we saw. It's complete with custom floor to ceiling cabinetry, glass doors, open concept shelving. This closet truly has it all. It's incredible. You've also got this center island here with the glass panel, leather textures, light fixture positioned above me. You've got the designated vanity here too in case you wanna get ready before a party or an event. There's no sink in the way. You've got the marble backsplash going up to the ceiling with a skylight, which brings even more natural light to this closet here. You've actually got two skylights. This kind of looks like a Rodeo Drive boutique. I'm a huge fan of this closet. Now follow me back through this section and here we are. We have just made it into the primary bathroom. Right when you walk in, you've got this freestanding tub, marble floors wrap all the way up to the walls in this section here. You've got your dual vanities positioned on either side of this room, marble countertops with the hanging mirrors, light fixtures above, picture window views on this one, which is really cool. You're looking directly out to the foliage on all sides of the mirror, medicine cabinets, and then down this section, you've got a marble backsplash, which is a little bit different than the last one. And you're getting these crazy views of Bel Air, Los Angeles. I just gotta show you this again. Open concept, primary bathroom. We've never seen something quite like it. It's got the pocket sliding doors. So when you're getting ready in the morning, you're getting that fresh air and you're getting these views, which is something you rarely see for primary bathrooms. I really do like this. Surrounded by the foliage, it's extremely private. And we gotta talk about this too. So this is your glass enclosed primary shower. Once again, complete with the marble floors, floating bench seating with the marble backsplash. And you've also got the skylight right above, two mounted rain heads above with the mounted body sprays. This space is amazing. And you can actually access it from two different doors, which I do really like. Now I'm gonna head outside of this one here 
Also, another noteworthy detail to mention, you've got water closet number one and number two over there on my left. Now, follow me back down into this hallway. We got a couple guest bedrooms to show you. So let's take a look at this one first. Nice contemporary staged furniture throughout. You've also got that set of sliding glass doors, which lead you out to that balcony that we saw with more views of Bel Air Los Angeles mounted flat screen on my left, and you've also got your ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower section. You've also got your walk-in closet with all of your necessary built-ins. And then directly across this hallway here, we've got another guest bedroom, once again, complete with more contemporary furniture. I really like the furniture in this bedroom specifically. You've also got the sliding glass doors, once again, leading you out to the balcony and to the beautiful views. You've got the walk-in closet, ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity, and you've got that glass enclosed walk-in shower section once again. And if we head outside of the space over here, we've got your laundry room, which can fit two stacked appliances. And if we head back down this hallway here, open atrium entry, like I mentioned earlier, with the interior stonework, light fixtures, views of your front yard, it's quite amazing. Also views of your open atrium on my left, beautiful section. Now down this hallway, we've got an upper level seating area with contemporary staging throughout. You've got your built-in desk area, so in case your kids have some homework after school that they wanna do, this is a great spot to do it. You've got the clear story window right above, and you've got all of your custom cabinetry, but this cabinetry actually leads to a secret door, which is crazy. And this actually takes you out to a side yard where you further get street access back to the front of your home. If you wanna sneak people in, maybe this is the spot to do it. Maybe if you're having parties, bring them through here. Pretty cool section, never seen something quite like that. Two secret rooms so far in the house. You've got the light fixture above once again. And if we continue down this hallway here, we are led into the final guest bedroom of the property here. Contemporary staging throughout. You've got the plush wall here on that side of the wall. And you've got this set of sliding glass doors, which lead you out to a contemporary staged seating section with more views of Bel Air. And it's got views of the front yard of the property too. In case you've got your lineup of supercars, you can go down and look at it from here. Pretty cool. Seating area with the mounted flat screen TV. Over here, we've got your ensuite bathroom complete with the floating vanity. And you've got your glass enclosed walk-in shower section with the floating bench, tile work throughout, and you've got the skylight at the top too. And if we continue down, this is the walk-in closet here, complete with all of your necessary built-ins. And if we head back down through the area, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our tour today for this amazing property here at 1035 Stradella Road. Once again, huge thank you to all of the listing agents involved with this property. You can find their information down below in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.